number of people have been saying that they'd like to see more about my 4CD. So, today's the day that I start getting her ready for a steam test, which is happening in the middle of February. Um, but I've got a few jobs to do. Let's start there. So, into the uh, into the shed. Now, look, it's a uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. There's a motorcycle under there and a, another one here. But here's uh, here's Tilly. There's a fire grate on the uh, on the floor, ready to go back in when we start commissioning her again. Whenever we decide to take her out again. So at the moment she's in winter mode, so everything's been drained down. Normally you'd find things like the uh, um, the the pressure gauge here that's been taken off just so it doesn't get any frost damage. We've left everything open um, just to allow air through. So when you see down there, you'll see that the, uh, the the door is open there. So we've got air going through the boiler just to stop any corrosion, just stop any build up of damp. But uh, no, there she is. Um, she's in fantastic fine fettle, steaming really well. So sometime later, um, trailer is looking a lot cleaner a couple of jobs still to do I uh, just want to check those tyre pressures um, in here so this has all been cleaned through as well uh, we've got the here we've got a winch assembly just for being able to winch the engine in and I've got a 12 volt battery there that's just on charge to make sure that's tipped up um, but Aside from that, we're all pretty well ready. Um, I had to clear a load of crap out first. So we've got a, a box full of uh, greases and oils, kneeling pads, straps, small coal, large coal, um, fire lighting stuff, and then we've got some uh, boiler treatment and some paraffin, um, chimney extensions for starting up, and then we've got the trailer, um, where we've got some uh, I've got some paraffin soaked wood um, we've got the tray for emptying the ash pan uh, some tools um, this is the old back of the seat which I'm actually going to turn into a seat which can sit on the trailer like that um, which I think will be rather lovely yeah but um, all in all getting on quite well really Luke came over and we had a day just updating the engine, really giving a good go over, putting it together after the winter and changing out the drain cots because we felt that they had been, uh, they were a bit tired. We also found a problem with the fusible plug because the previous plug hadn't been in more than about three threads and, a, and the threads above that had got a build up of calcium in them so we had to put a tap through them to try and solve that problem, which we thought we had. Well, today uh, it's Thursday evening um, and I'm getting that ready to pull that because tomorrow I'm heading off down to Siren Sester. I'm going to see Simon Nuttall and we are going to well he's having a cold test done on his Fowler A4 not Foster as I kept saying before that's because I'm a bungling idiot um, no on his Fowler A4 um, so let's go and see what we've got in here um, so I've had to come up with a new system because despite being quite a considerably sized trailer this isn't actually big enough for my trailer and sorry for the engine to put in and the trailer that I take for towing behind the engine so I've had to come up with a system and that system involves using the winch that's at the front there um, to winch the trailer up onto a set of these bars which are put in um, which essentially then means that the upside down trailer with the wheels taken off can sit above the engine. Uh, looks slightly precarious but actually it's, it's, it's pretty safe but of course I've got to get that out and then get the bars out before I can take the engine out because obviously the, uh, the chimney won't fit past the, um, the loading bars. Um, trailer's all, uh, engine's all nicely strapped in um, so that's pretty good from that sense. Um, but the uh, I've had to now change the tow bar on the Hilux um, I tried lining it up yesterday and actually um, it had been used for, for, for whatever purposes previously before I bought it but um, the tow bar was too high so 
Um, I went to see my friend uh, Chris Hazelton this morning. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy and runs Venture 4x4 in Shipston, one of the best uh, independent Land Rover specialists in the UK. And he, um, he actually had a spare, which he put on for me, so we lowered it down. Um, and the next job is just to, uh, yeah, just to get it hitched up and make sure the lights are all working and so on, so we're ready to go early tomorrow morning and head down to Sirencester. I didn't do terribly well at filming during the day that we had the boiler test. It was a, quite a stressful day because the problem that we thought that we'd solved with the fusible plug um, really hadn't created a solution. So in the end we had to drill out the hole to half from uh, 3 8 and uh, then tap it, then fit a new fusible plug. And essentially at that point, yes, passed the boiler test, which I was very, very relieved about. It did mean, however, that at the end of the day we could go out and enjoy the spoils of a day well spent. Because like that, Daddy. Start this video, innit? I didn't expect this today, did you, boys? Yeah, yes. I always have a ride on stuff when we come to. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to say a huge thanks to Simon Nuttall for organising the day and for being so welcoming and hospitable. I'd also really like to thank Luke and James for their support during the day and to uh, Hawkins Inspection Services. Peter, you were fantastic. Really appreciate your advice, your suggestions and your help and certainly guidance for the future. Um, I'd also like to thank Adam who came to our aid with a uh, half BSPT tap when we really needed one. Thank you very, very much.